Ah, uh, machines. We all know that they will eventually enslave us and run the universe, but what about this golden age of machines in which they more or less still do what we instruct them to do? The truth is that there are tons of incredible machines doing some hyper-specific jobs in ways you probably never imagined. From the printer that allows you to drive, to the machine that does crazy things with wood, here's the 15 most satisfying machines that will amaze you. <sighs> Number 15. Road Printer Machine Back in the old days, laying a road was pretty back-breaking work. Teams of guys would be working all hours, slowly but surely putting the bricks in place so you could go out cruising in your Prius. But nowadays, there's no need for all that sweat because you can just use one of these amazing machines to print the road. The machine is the width of a regular road, but can be adjusted to fit whatever size is necessary. And instead of crews of hundreds of men, this is operated by two or three guys, who just pile bricks into the top. The machine even sorts the bricks out, so they can come out the right way round, in a perfect carpet of bricks that you can then go back over and lay down the macadam. Known as the GSX Road Printer, this machine is set to revolutionize road building. They can put roads pretty much anywhere with one of these things, and they are capable of producing almost a mile a day of road. That's even faster than the Roman legions back in the old days when they were building roads all over Europe like crazy. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. KWT and Torax. You ever stop and look at a tree and think, how does that turn into my amazing designer dining room set? Well, the answer is that it was probably carved up by the KWT and Torex T3000. That's not shape-shifting android assassin from Terminator 2 Judgment Day in case you were wondering. Although, maybe it is. It did fall into a vat of molten steel at the end of the movie. Maybe it got recycled into this wood carving machine. Because looking at how incredible it is at carving this curved table leg, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's some kind of insane nanotechnology from the future. And it is certainly satisfying to watch this thing buzz through that wood as though it were soft serve. According to the manufacturer Newell Posts, stair spindles with modern contemporary design, chair, table, and sofa legs, among other things, can all be produced on this machine. I have a feeling this kind of machine doesn't come super cheap, so if you just had the one table to build for your apartment, it might not be such a good investment, but for a big company making hundreds of thousands of stair spindles, surely there's no better option out there today. Number 13. Crusher Machine Ah, the crusher machine. Guess what it does? Yep, that's right, it crushes stuff. Big stuff. And it crushes it into tiny little pieces that you will hardly believe. It can also snap stuff and generally destroy anything that you ask it to. These machines are often a favorite with mobsters in Martin Scorsese movies as a pretty smart way of disposing the body of one of their rivals who had to be whacked. And you can see why. You definitely do not want to fall into one of these things. You can see how it chews through bicycles, radiators, wheelchairs, some weird panda face toilet seat thing, fire extinguishers, trash cans, an entire motorcycle, literally destroying anything that is fed to it like some ferocious pagan god. All hail the Mighty Crusher. It is extremely satisfying to watch, although don't get too close if you are wearing a tie. Honestly, if I owned one of these, I think my home would soon be pretty much empty, as I don't know if I would be able to resist throwing a few things in the crusher just to help ease the stress of a long day at the office. Number 12. Bangle Machine We all know that there's nothing classier than some fake gold bling made from brass, and the rule with all jewelry is obviously the cheaper the better, so why not get a machine to turn out your next set of bangles? 
When you see the speed and precision of this machine, you'll probably realize that you could wear bangles over your entire body for the next chic cocktail party evening in the Hamptons. And there's something for everyone in terms of design. Whether your favorite thing in the world is leaves, hearts, or kind of a cloud dragon thing, you will surely not be disappointed. The only downside is that this guy has clearly already cornered the global bangle market with his incredible machine. So you'll have to work out how to up your game and compete, bringing something new to the table. Like, um, I don't know, mini crowns for baby monkeys? Yeah, that could work. If you add up all the baby monkeys in the world, that's a lot of potential crowns. And you really will be able to afford that home in the Hamptons after all when you become a bangle billionaire. Number 11. Plywood Machine Plywood pretty useful stuff, and it has been around for a long time. If you don't know what plywood is, it's not something that occurs naturally, but is manufactured. Basically, different thin layers of wood are bonded together, with the grain of the wood running top to bottom, and then side to side for alternative layers. This makes the wood stronger and less prone to splitting, which is pretty useful. The ancient Greeks and Egyptians figured it out thousands of years ago, but it wasn't until a British man named Samuel Bentham patented the technique in 1797 that a machine was invented which could perform the task of bonding the different plies of wood together. From then on, plywood has become one of the most popular building materials, and next time you open your IKEA cabinet, you can sit and stare at it in amazement. Rem reminded of the fact that it is built from the same stuff as the casket of King Tutankhamun. Unless your IKEA wardrobe is made from MDF, I'm pretty sure the Egyptians were not burying their pharaohs in MDF caskets. Number 10. Crayon Making Machine the wax crayon, yet another invention by those crazy Egyptians and Greeks. Man, those ancient aliens left the Egyptians and Greeks some pretty awesome technology. Plywood, crayons, pyramids, you know, all the important stuff. Anyway, since that time, the crayon hasn't changed too much, although nowadays it comes in all kinds of different colors, and like most things, it is made by machines. The modern crayon kicked off with Leonardo da Vinci, who figured out how to mix oil and charcoal to make pastels. And later, pigments were added and finally the oil was replaced by wax, and we have had colored wax crayons since they were invented in Paris during the 19th century. To make the crayon, hot paraffin wax is mixed by machines with the pigment. Then, the hot, waxy liquid is poured into crayon molding tables. The molds have tubes in them, and water is pumped through to cool them down. Extra wax is scraped off, an inspector makes sure the crayons are looking good, and then a machine adds the label and they are ready to be packaged and sent to the store. Number 9. Egg Machine There are 23.7 billion chickens in the world, and in a way every single one of them is an egg-laying machine. But the problem is that most people don't like eating raw eggs right out from under the chicken with the shells still on. Because that would make you look like some kind of psychopath and maybe give you a salmonella, so getting all those eggs from being laid by a chicken to being ready to be eaten would take a lot of work. In China, those hard-working chickens lay 661 billion eggs a year. And that's just China. Can you imagine peeling 661 billion eggs with your hands? Well, you might want to invest in one of these, the SEPS 8400 by Sonovo. This machine boils, cools, and peels eggs all in one process. It is designed to work with both white and brown eggs. Apparently, there's a difference other than just the color. Anyway, it can blast its way through 8,500 eggs an hour, which means that it will only take you just under 9,000 years to prepare those 661 billion eggs for the Chinese. Using a, one of these babies, you might want to consider investing in a few of them if you really have that many to get through, though. Number 8. Glass Bottle Machine 
A long time ago, someone looked at a pile of sand on a beach, or maybe in the desert, picked up a handful, let it drain out between their fingers in a cinematic way, and somehow decided it would be possible to make glass out of it. Which seems to be the most bizarre thing in history, but that's how it went and now we have glass everywhere, and it is extremely useful, since it's hard and you can see through it. Hello Windows! Another use for glass is glass bottles. And if you ever wondered how they turned glass into your Coca-Cola bottle, then you might be surprised to learn that it's all down to one of those amazing machines. It starts off with sand being melted into what looks like a pretty hot kind of place. Then it sort of plops down into the next section and is fired along like some crazy laser gun. After a bit more traveling around, doing some machiney stuff, it ends up in this part, which looks like one of those cryogenic freezers. It cools the bottom down and molds it into shape. And there you have it, a new Coke bottle. Number 7. Tree Spade a tree spade is pretty much what it sounds like. It's the same as a regular spade in that you can dig things up and then plant them somewhere else, but with trees rather than plants. They look a little like excavators, but have a special arm, which allows the tree spade to dig up an entire tree and then put it on a transport truck so it can be moved somewhere else. This means that in the landscaping and tree nursery industries, these are pretty much indispensable tools nowadays. The machine has three or four blades, which wrap around the tree and then dig into the ground before clamping on and lifting the whole thing out. Roots, soil, and everything else. Then the tree can be rotated into a horizontal position for easier transport to its next stop. As you can see in this video, a tree spade has no problem tackling a huge 70 foot high tree. That huge forest you always wanted in your backyard? Well, now you can have it, thanks to the tree spade. Number 6. Nail Machine Nails have been a pretty important part of human history. When you think about it, these small fasteners are critical to pretty much every kind of building work. Back in ancient Egypt, those master builders invented the first bronze and iron nails for hammering together their stelles and shadoofs. Later on, the Romans were crazy about iron nails. A seven-ton nail storage was found in Britain. A hall of masonry once belonging to the Romans who left them behind when they went back home again. And of course, the Romans also manufactured the most famous nails in history, which they used to attach Jesus Christ to the crucifix. Until about 1800, pretty much all nails were made by hand, and a slinter would have the fun job of shearing off chunks from an iron bar, while the nailer would turn them into nails. Not anymore, because around then, the British invented the first nail-making machines, and these days, they can really pump them out. Of course, they are made of steel now, not iron, and people no longer go around burning down houses just to salvage the valuable nails. They seriously did this a lot back in the 18th century. Number 5. Ravioli Machine If only the Romans had pasta, who knows what they might have achieved. Or is the invention of pasta the reason Italians aren't quite so bothered about conquering the world, happier chilling at home with perfect wine and food? Who knows, but Italians sure do eat a lot of pasta, and not everyone has time to spend making it from scratch every day. So you need a massive industrial ravioli machine, and that is exactly what this company has produced. A huge, mass-scale industrial pasta machine which can stuff your ravioli with anything you want. Meat, ricotta, spinach, all the classics, this thing can churn them out at a massive 650 pounds an hour, which is probably enough to keep your modern Roman army happy, and it's pretty cool to watch. A massive roll of pasta carpet goes in, and at the other end, lots of little ravioli parcels drop out, ready to be packaged up, sent to the store, and then eventually served up for a classic Italian dinner. Number 4. Scroll Machine Wrought iron is one of the most important materials in the history of humanity, and once upon a time almost everything was made from wrought iron. Rivets, nails, wire, chains, rails, railway couplings, water and steam pipes, nuts and bolts, horseshoes, 
handrails, wagon tires, and even the Eiffel Tower. Nowadays, mild steel is a much better product for most of these, and so wrought iron is no longer made on a commercial scale like it was back in the 19th century. Some people still like to have wrought iron, and the use of traditional blacksmiths gives your garden gate an aura of coolness and mystery, no doubt. But even the blacksmiths are using machines nowadays, and this one by Hebo shows how to make a scroll for a wrought iron gate that once would have taken a master blacksmith a lot of time and skill to make. This machine just wraps it up perfectly every time. And you can see just how sweet those gates turn out to be once all the scrolls and twists have been put together. Number 3. Laser Rust Removal What's one of the main downsides of using iron is that if you don't maintain and protect it properly, it can fall victim to its worst enemy, rust. Wrought iron has high carbon content and is an incredibly strong material, but it is still prone to suffer from damage caused by the elements. And a rusty gate is no good, so what do you do if your metal has all gone rusty? You get hold of a laser rust remover and kick back to witness one of the most satisfying cleanup jobs known to man. P-Laser is a world first. an advanced industrial handheld laser for rust removal. Kind of like laser hair removal, but for automobiles. This 1000 watt laser will blast through any corrosion you might find lurking under those wheel arches, which will lead to big holes in the bodywork and a real pain in the butt. It sends energy directly into the dirt and corroded areas, but leaves the healthy metal alone, resulting in a perfect finish, and it costs just $53,000. Wait, how much? Okay, if you have $53,000, then just take your rusted old car to the scrap heap and buy a damn Cadillac or something. Number 2. Chain Link Fence Machine Fences, pretty useful. You want stuff to stay in, put up a fence. You want some stuff to stay out, yep put up a fence. If you want people to stay out, or in, something big like a country, you'll be needing a lot of fencing. The classic fence we see everywhere today is known as chain link fencing, and it is woven together with strands of galvanized steel, which forms the familiar diamond pattern we all know from the times in our lives when we've shown up somewhere and then been like, oh, I guess we aren't allowed in. Chain link fences made by machines was invented in Britain back in 1844 by a man named Charles Bernard, who was inspired by a cloth weaving machine he had seen. And similar machines are still in use today, although they are probably a lot faster than the ones back in 1844. This machine, for example, can produce a huge 2,500 square feet an hour, which means you could produce enough chain link fencing to line the US Canada border in barely 30 years. Time well spent, I would say. Those Canadians are a troublesome bunch. Mark my words. Number 1. Ipeka Master Slicer If you like pasta, you probably also like bread. And you know that expression, the best thing since sliced bread? Well, the bread slicer is literally the best thing, including sliced bread. Take a look at these loaves being perfectly sliced by this amazing machine. Wheat was first cultivated as a crop in the Middle East, way back around 14,500 years ago. And this technology then spread to Europe, North Africa, and Asia. And it was bread which was one of the most important factors in humans switching from nomadic lifestyles to living in towns and cities, since they knew that they could grow wheat and make bread every year, instead of having to chase around after animals all the time. But without industrial bread slicers, they probably wondered why they even bothered. Because how could you enjoy bread as much without seeing it being sliced up by this incredibly satisfying machine? One other good thing about modern bread is that it is regulated. Back in the 19th century, England people made extra profit by filling bread with things like chalk, sawdust, alum, plaster, clay, and ammonium carbonate. I mean, they made more profit until all of their customers died, I guess. But machines aren't greedy like humans, so maybe it will be better when they come to rule us all. I just hope they don't use bread slicers to punish us. 
Which of these machines did you find the most satisfying? Have you ever stood and stared for hours at a super satisfying machine? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.